10 things that we miss about old cars. Number one, thin and light doors. Modern cars may have that nice sturdy thunk when you close them, but you still can't beat that feeling of getting in an old car and pulling the door closed with your pinky. And they're a godsend when you try and open your door on an incline. They might not be the safest compared to their modern counterparts, but they feel just nice and simple. Number two, proper gear sticks. Not so long ago, gear sticks were actual sticks. You could actually feel each gear slotting into place and each had a nice and defined slot to slide it into. It felt meaningful. It felt nice and simple. A proper clunky gear change. Nowadays, we have little nubs sticking out of the dashboard or flappy paddles. Even the standard manuals just feel... fluffy. Number three, actual buttons. Only a few years ago, you could get into a modern car and there would be physical buttons that you could turn or press and there'd be a nice tactile feedback to them. You'd know you'd put the air into reset because it was a nice thunk when you slid it across. Now, however, it's all touchscreen. Manufacturers say it's in an effort to declutter the dashboard. But all you've done is consolidate them into one big button that changes depending on what you're doing to it. And it doesn't work well with gloves on. And worst of all, it's extremely hard to use them when you're actually driving and you've got nothing to grip onto. Usually meaning you go to turn the aircon down and end up calling your gran. Number four, honest styling. There was a time when an exhaust was used to let out exhaust gases and when an air intake was used for taking in air. Now they're all lies. Lies. Number five, a real key. A little piece of metal with ridges on it that you could slide into a hole in the steering column, turn, and your car would start. There's just something so nice and simple about it. Now you have weirdly shaped fobs and blobs and emotional control units. Number six, skinny tyres. I don't care how old you are, how responsible you say you are, or how mature you think you are. We've all let our tyres squeal at one point or another and had a giddy childish grin spread on our face while doing it, even if we didn't mean to. Now, thanks to a combination of safety aids and massive tyres, you rarely get the chance to. Even if it was by accident, officer, I swear I didn't mean to, even though I was only doing 25, I promise. Number seven, fix-it-yourself parts. We used to spend many a weekend pulling our engine bays to pieces, having a look at them, and then putting them back together again. Dealer servicing, pfft. But now when you open your bonnet, you can only assume your car is solid state, as all you can see is a big lump of plastic. Number eight, the noise and the smell. Even the smallest and cheapest cars had a nice raspy exhaust note, a thrumming engine and a good whiff of petrol as it tore up a B-road. And now the smallest and cheapest cars sort of waft around. Number nine, a manual choke. While it might not be the most convenient thing in the world, it's great for hanging your handbag on. Number ten, tapping gauges. There was something very cool about getting in an old car and having to tap the gauges to unstick them, like a World War II fighter pilot. But now it's all digital readouts. A lot of cars don't even have an engine temperature gauge anymore. What happened? So those were the 10 things we miss about old cars. Did we miss any out or have you got any suggestions? Let us know in the comments box below and don't forget to uh, like if you liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more like this from Auto Animals because there will be more. See you next time.